<sighs> well, it's finally over, guys. It's finally over. <sighs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Stevie the Black. That's the E V W E, the Black. I'm back. And I, um, I first of all, I apologize for getting this video out late. I know it would have normally been out already, but, uh, I was out with my friends uh, watching the game at a restaurant and uh well after the game we got tied up so talking to other people and everything like that talking to a cute girl too you know so it, it was it was more of a lose win tonight you know we lost the Cowboys but a win because you know I was talking to a very beautiful girl so you know that's a win and I did get her uh her 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 uh I did get her Instagram and Facebook, so you know, we'll we'll see what goes on with that. But that's why I say it's a lose win. But uh, what I said earlier about it being over, I was uh, dead on about the season's over. Season is over. When the Eagles won the Super Bowl last year, they legit sold their soul. They gave everything they had. It was a Cinderella story. It was a perfect story. Losing this piece and that piece and lose and then losing most of our MVP quarterback. And and then for the back of the coming and just we barely squeak out a win against the Falcons and then we romp stop the uh, Minnesota Vikings, and then we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tom Brady to beat the best of the best in the Super Bowl, and to hold that Lombardi up, we, we literally sold our souls, because that's what it's looking like, because honestly, I, I, I don't understand, bro, like, this defense, bro, I used to call this defense the most clutch defense in the league, because while they gave up so much yards, they never gave up the points, they only gave up the field goals. And tonight, they made Dak Prescott look like Aaron Rodgers. They made Ezekiel Elliott, who's a very good running back, top three in the NFL, look like he was a Hall of Famer, which, you know, he may be. And just, it was an embarrassing front, man. Like, I don't know what else you want me to say. It was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. To lose your third straight home game that's that's embarrassing man and it's and of all the team that you could have lost to the team that ended your season was the Dallas Cowboys we were supposed to end their season this was their and and, and the Cowboys clearly wanted it more than us I, I mean I came in at the game when went through the interception and I said oh it's gonna be that type of game okay it's going to be that type of game. It, it, it went down to the wire. But in the end, once once we didn't get on that fourth down conversion, I knew that was it. I knew that was it. I knew the season was over because there's no way you can convince me that the Eagles, number one, are going to win out, which they're not. And they're not going to win enough games to win the division because the Redskins won today against the Bucks. And obviously the Cowboys are ahead of us. And, and the Cowboys, you know, they, they've they got a couple tough games left. You know, they got the Falcons even though they lost to uh, the Browns. But they, that's, that's a tough game. And they still got the Saints. And, you know, Washington's going to want to hold on to that division lead that they got. So it, it's it's over for us. And and to be quite honest with you, I'm, I'm happy about it. Like, I love this team. I love them to death. But... I'm kind of glad it's over because I have a headache right now. I have a headache because of how much anguish and pain that they put me through, man. Like, they do so much hurt and joy to me. And they gave me the ultimate joy last year. But that was last year. And that's the thing I've been trying to tell Addy. And that's the thing that I've been trying to tell people. That was last year. And I'm forever grateful. But this is 2018. This is not 2017. I get it. 
nine months ago we were in the Super Bowl. We won. We had that parade on Broad Street. But this team does not look like it. This offensive line is garbage. This defensive line is garbage. These corners cannot stop anybody. And I, and I know Ronald Darby went down, and once he went down, I was there. And then this whole time, we've been clamoring for for uh, 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 Rasul Douglas. Put take out Jalen, take out Jalen Mills. Put in Rasul Douglas. He, he he he's gonna be better than him. And he laid an egg. Laid an egg. And it's just like, oh, man, <sighs> to not, to win the Super Bowl and not make the playoffs, man. It, it's happened before. But, I, I mean, I, I here's the thing. When we won the Super Bowl, I said, I didn't think we were going to win the Super Bowl this year. I just, I just wanted to compete. I wanted to compete, and I wanted to be up there with the Seattles, with the Green Bay Packers. I wanted to be one of those teams where we competed every year, and we were always in there. And we were always in the comp. Hey, if you've got Carson Wentz, you've got a shot. But once again, it came down to Carson Wentz. Can you get us that miracle touchdown? Can you get us to overtime? And he didn't do it. <sighs> he didn't do it. And I'm just, I'm not, I'm not hating on the man, but he didn't do it. This whole year has been a disaster. I mean, you look at teams that we just barely beat, and we may it's over, and it's over. And I say, you know, let's start getting ready for next season. But next season, we've got to, I, I believe, we're playing the AFC East and we're playing the NFC North which means we have to go to Minnesota which means we have to go to Lambeau which means we have to Tom Brady comes to us you know it's <sighs> oh man I mean that's like four losses right there and I'm just like man I didn't want to be one of those Super Bowl teams that won the Super Bowl and then you never heard from them again. Like the Denver Broncos. Like the Baltimore Ravens. I mean, I guess you could say even like Seattle. I mean, I know they made it back to the Super Bowl, but it was their own dumbness that cost them that game. So. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Feel kind of sick. I think it's this team, bro. They did it to me. Just wow, man. Just oh wow. So, since we're not gonna win the division, and since we're not gonna go to the playoffs, um, the new goal: don't fall behind. Don't fall under five hundred finish eight and eight or better can you do that can you do that please because at this rate they look like they're gonna go four and twelve if the defense keeps playing like this and the offense keeps going three and out and not producing and, and everything it's <sighs> oh man it's just it's ridiculous bro <sighs> the cowboys are not winning the division they're not it's gonna be the redskins it's wow all year we've been saying this team is clearly the best team in the division. I don't think we can say that anymore. I don't think we can say that. We don't have the best coach because Doug Peterson. I, I think it's very clear that it was Frank Wright and John D. Filippo. I, I was even asking the question: Maybe do we fire Jim Swartz? You know, after all the bonehead decisions that's been going on, especially on the defensive side of the ball. But people are like, no, 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 let's give him one more year. Let's give him one more year. Let's move some pieces around, see where it goes and everything. And I'm like, all right. But you know we got Tom Brady next year, right? You know we got Aaron Rodgers next year, right? And we've never beaten Aaron Rodgers. And, I mean, Brady's going to be coming to us. So, you know, 
you know he's going to prepare for that Super Bowl. And even if, and here's the thing, even if we got Golden Tate, right, and even if we didn't make a run, and even if we did go to the Super Bowl, we weren't going to win the Super Bowl because you know how lucky we'd have to be for that? I mean, we would need to have, I, I wouldn't want to face the Patriots because you know Tom Brady going to want that revenge. I wouldn't want to face the Chiefs because how we would get destroyed. I didn't want to face the Pittsburgh Steelers because Antonio Brown, Juju, and all those, we would get blown out. The only team that we could have possibly beaten is the Los Angeles Chargers, and we know they're not going to the Super Bowl. So it's like, what? So I, it, it was not. It has not been a good season. It is not. Season's finally over, and I'm just like, I don't even know if I'm going to watch next week, to be quite honest with you. I, I may check in every now and then just to check, and I'm like, oh, we're losing? Big shocker. New Orleans, the Dome, Drew Brees. Uh, but then again, you know, the Eagles are the Eagles, and, you know, they could pull a rabbit out of their hat and beat the, beat the Saints, but I doubt that's happening, so... From four and five to four and six, and then the Giants come, but I can't even say we're going to beat them because we couldn't even be. You, you saw what Saquon did to us last time we faced him. You saw what Ezekiel Elliott did to us tonight. Oh man! So the season's over. Uh, season's over. Just finished eight and eight or better. That's the only thing I can ask from you. Again, I don't know if I'm going to watch. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing predictions videos. I, I honestly don't. Maybe I'll let you guys decide for me in the comment section down below. So, with that being said, that's pretty much about it. So, until next time. And if you're not down with that, well, I can't even say that. So, uh, peace out. See you later.